Hello everyone, uh, my name is Alex and um, I'm going to tell you something about how we connect using satellites. And um, if you think you have a mobile phone and you're connected in the world, then think again. If you just go 50 kilometers he from here, you know, uh, here in Vienna, then you probably don't have any reception or you go through some uh, woods and you don't have any reception. If you go farther away, then your reception dies down. I was in San Francisco uh, last year and I was trying to get an Uber and I really was walking for half an hour through San Francisco while Uber cars were driving by trying to get this phone to work, you know, to, uh, to get the Uber. So what I'm saying is that we have a very good infrastructure in urban areas to connect to our mobile phones and to connect together, but if you go a little bit outside, then the things are really different. So, about 60% of uh, Earth population don't have con access, even though they have mobile phones, to a fast internet connection. And this is going to change dramatically in the next 10 years. And it, I'm going to show you how this is going to work. So we have satellites around Earth right now connecting people. And I'm going to try to uh, use this kind of old school method here to draw that up for you. So Let's start with uh, the planet Earth, right? So we have here uh, the Americas. We have something which is Europe. It's not that easy, guys, so don't laugh at me. <laughs> so let's say that's roughly Earth, right? Um, so what we have right now in space is huge, huge satellites providing signals for all of us. And these satellites, they're very far away, 36,000 kilometers away. So they have some solar panels, they have a huge dish, like two, three meter dish, and they provide a signal here that just beams down to all the globe. So with just a few of these, you can cover all the Earth. Now, what you need in order to connect to this satellite is a satellite dish here. So you have some satellite dish, and you connect, and you receive this beam. That's what you or most of you do when you watch you know, Super Bowl at home. You know, you have your dish, you connect to a specific satellite, and this beams the signal down. This is very inconvenient if you go skiing, for example, right? Or if you go to a holiday in the woods, or as we just heard, reconnect to nature. So what you need to do is um, we need to be able to connect to these satellites really from a, like a mobile phone application. And this is happening already right now. What we see is we are replacing this school bus size satellite by really, really small satellites. So we have been able in the last decade or so to construct satellites that are smaller than a washing machine, some even as small as your microwave that has all the functionality of a satellite inside. They can move around, they can position themselves, they can beam a signal somewhere, they can communicate. And what we can do with these small satellites is basically we construct a network around Earth of many, many, many satellites that circle around Earth, you know, in different orbits and different paths. And that gives us the possibility to connect to this network from very close by, right? These satellites are much closer to Earth, so you don't need these huge satellite dishes to connect. So eventually, you will need something like a mobile phone to connect there. And the first um, satellites of these so-called constellations of hundreds of satellites are already being launched right now. There are several projects going on like this. So I'm going to tell you that in about 10 years, probably less than that, we will have global coverage of communication through satellites. Okay? This is an opportunity, a threat. I'm going to want you to think about that. But it's going to happen anyway. All the people in the world that don't have internet access right now, they don't live in urban areas, they will have access by just buying these uh, small devices or even by, in 10 years, buying small mobile phones, they will have access to the rest of the global economy through the internet. So this is something to think about, and we are building basically an infrastructure right now, and I want you guys to think about whether this infrastructure can be used for building opportunities for businesses. Think about billions of new users or new customers or new competitors. Or whether this infrastructure can also be used as a threat to make sure that you, know, you um, 
you gather more data you know, in the world and you um, control more people by uh, this infrastructure. And it's up to us right now to think about how we are going to use this infrastructure because there's no way back. This is already being deployed. There's already um, these constellations up in space. And um, I'm going to leave you with that and I'm happy to discuss this with you. Thank you.